this problem is first, first let me read out the problem the problem is like this work done when a big drop of known radius splits into identical small drops of course of a known number but unknown radius how much work is done in this process what happens is the kind of a question that's being asked to answer this question first of all we shall remember back the very basic definition of a surface tension in the second way if, as we have explained in the previous video surface tension can be defined as work done in producing a unit change in the surface area of the liquid from this definition i can calculate work done as surface tension into change in the area change in the area means area final minus area initial that's a basic concept that we need to know now let's go and proceed and see what's our problem is saying now when a big drop of known radius let's imagine a big drop like a water drop spherical in shape obviously because it's a drop its radius is known for me now it splits into identical small drops it was broken now into so many small drops how many small drops n number of drops but what i don't know is radius of these small drops is not known for me it was not given small drops is not given so let me imagine radius of the small drop is smaller but i don't know it i know capital r radius of the big drop is known for me so i shall express this smaller in terms of capital r how can i express it you know mass is conserved density of this liquid remains constant density equal to mass by volume mass is conserved constant density is also constant that's why automatically volume is constant so what i can say volume of that big drop is equal to volume of all small drops together if i assume n is the number of the drops multiplied by volume of small drop so that means total volume is remaining conserved in a given case being a spherical drop we know the formula for the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube here i have written capital r because i'm talking about big drop let's assume it was divided into n number of the drops and that is given in the problem volume of small drops is 4 by 3 pi small r cube 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi can be cancelled so if i simplify capital r cube equal to n into small r cube as i don't know write small r i'll write small r cube as capital r cube by n i'll take the cube root on both the sides that implies small r is equal to r cube by n whole power of 1 by 3 that's cube root r cube whole power of 1 by 3 is r divided by n power 1 by 3 so whenever small r is there in the place of the small r i can write it in terms of the capital r as capital r by number of the drops whole power of 1 by 3 i got the relation now now let me proceed to the problem i will use this formula work done is equal to surface tension to change in the area so let me calculate i'll just scroll down to the page so that you be able to see better yes so as per the definition of surface tension work done equal to surface tension into area final minus area initial area final means all the small areas together when a big drop splits up into small number of the drops small number of the drops together will have a higher area therefore i have to take the area of the small drops together first minus area of the big drop so area of the area final is n into area of each small drop minus area of the big drop so how much is this value t n into area of the spherical drop is 4 pi r square because you are talking about a small drop i have written small r minus area of the big drop is 4 pi capital r square now t uh, n 4 pi 
this is small r is not known for me but i already calculated a value for this is small r as capital r divided by n power 1 by 3 i have already calculated in the place of r square capital r by n power 1 by 3 whole square minus the same value 4 pi r square so let me simplify this t n 4 pi r whole power 2 is there n power 1 by 3 whole square is there that is n power 2 by 3 minus 4 pi r square let me simplify this even a little further by scrolling a little up yeah so how much work is done t i can take 4 pi r square common in both the words for the numbers 4 pi r square so what's remaining this n by n power 2 by 3 minus entire 4 pi r square i have taken as common therefore only one is remaining so how much work is done t 4 pi r square n power of 1 take the denominator the new to the numerator becomes minus minus 2 by 3 minus 1 so t 4 pi r square n power of 3 minus 2 that is 1 by 3 minus 1 so how much work is done in this process is this much when a big drop splits into small drop it cannot happen itself we need to do some work how much of that work is t into 4 pi r square of n power 1 by 3 minus 1 here there are some important points that we need to understand the first thing area delta area increases because a small drop became into a kind of big drop has turned into small drops delta area increases that's one point that we need to remember yeah the area is uh, decreased the energy is absorbed we have supplied the heat for that therefore the energy is absorbed as the energy is absorbed the temperature of the system gets decreases so these are the key points that you need to know so let us uh, conclude our uh, discussion here so i want to just you to remind that the problem is like this when a big draw of known radius splits into identical small drops of known number but unknown radius how much work is done is the question so as i have to calculate the work done i shall define surface tension in terms of the work done the second definition as work done per unit change in the surface area from that i get a formula for the work done as surface tension into change in the area a2 let's say finally is all the small drops area together a1 is the area of the big drop why i have taken a2 minus a1 simple logic is a area of the small drops together will be higher than the area of a big drop so before writing that as the area of radius of the small drop is not given for me i shall find that area of the small radius of that small drop in terms of the radius of the big drop as well as the number given there i am using a concept of conservation of mass density equal to mass by volume mass is conserved density is constant it means the volume is also conserved that i have taken into consideration volume of the big drop equal to volume of the small drop into number of the small drops i have written a formula volume of uh, spherical drop 4 by 3 pi r cube and is the number of the drops and again 4 by 3 pi small r cube simplified and found a relation between small r and capital as i know the uh, radius so now i can use this formula so i have proceeded further you can see i have used this formula area of the small drop but this small r is not known for me so i am using this relation that i have derived here here simplified this further and got a conclusion this is how much of the work is done when a big drop splits into small drops but one important thing that you need to know is here area increases energy is absorbed temperature decreases by how much temperature decreases if somebody want you need to know the specific heat i can use the formula dq equal to ms delta t mass need to be known or else if you know volume and density i can find mass specific heat need to be known and i can use this conservation of energy concept by equating this work done to this value 
I can find the change in temperature. That's all together becomes a subject of calorimetry itself. That's it. Thank you for watching. Next video, we'll be talking what happens when small drops merge together, collide together and become a big drop. That we will discuss in our next video. That's it. Thank you for watching.